Welcome back everyone to West Explains Best. Today we're going to be talking about distance between two points in this Khan Academy tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. The first question is, what is the distance between 8 comma negative 3 and 4 comma negative 7? Now, uh, I don't know if I said distance or difference. If I said difference, I meant distance. The distance formula essentially is based off of Pythagorean theorem. What do I mean by that? Well, if we have a coordinate plane and we have two points, let's talk about these two purple points, and, we're, and we want to find the distance between them, it's easier to reconcile in our minds a horizontal distance and a vertical distance together than to find the distance uh, at a diagonal. So if we have a horizontal distance listed in red there and then shown in blue for the vertical distance, that will help us determine this diagonal distance. And as you can see there, once you do that, what you form is you form a right triangle. And that's where the Pythagorean theorem comes into play. Now, I'm not going to go into how this translates into the distance formula. And actually, I'm not a big fan of the distance formula. A lot of times, if I can, I want to use Pythagorean theorem versus the distance formula. But when you're not given a coordinate plane and you're just given these two points right here, the distance formula kind of makes sense. So let me show you what the distance formula is, and you're going to see why I'm not a big fan of it, although it is useful. Okay, so it's going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and then you take the square root of all of that. And that's essentially a way of getting c by itself, although no one talks about this. It's a way of getting c by itself uh, by taking the square root at the end. Okay, um, now what's required in doing the distance formula? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to label. So that's supposed to say number one. So use your imagination. That says number one. Number one, label. So I'm going to label this x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, it doesn't matter which one you consider the first point or the second point. The main thing is you need to make sure your x1 and y1 are for the same point and that your x2 and y2 are also for the same point. You can't have x1, y2, x2, y1. That doesn't make any sense. Now what we're going to do is we're simply going to plug in these values into our distance formula. Let me go ahead and show what that looks like. We have x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 8, and we're going to square it. The good thing about squaring it, it doesn't matter if it's negative. It's going to become positive. So keep that in mind as you are doing the arithmetic. So we have y2, which is negative 7, plus, no, sorry, minus uh, y1, which is negative 3. So I need to put that negative 3 in parentheses just to make sure I keep it negative. And then I take the square root of all of that when I'm done. So I'm going to have 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Again, it's not super important that it's negative because you're going to square this anyway, but I just want to show you and be uh, precise here. Then I have a negative 7 minus a negative 3. That's the same thing as negative 7 plus 3, which gives me negative 4. Again, it's not important that it's negative because we're going to square it anyway. Okay, now I have negative 4 squared plus negative 4 squared. That's the same thing as the square root. Whoops, let me make a big one. The same thing as the square root of uh, 16 plus 16. And we all know that's the same thing as the square root of 32. So we have our answer. All right, next question. What is the length of this line? This is a perfect example of when I like to use Pythagorean theorem over the distance formula. So let me go ahead and show you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my vertical and horizontal distance here. Okay, so I have a triangle, as you can clearly tell, and it's a right triangle. And this will be my A, this will be my B, and I don't know why I should have just left this blue, but whatever, this is my C. And I know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, if you want, go ahead and um, put this on a coordinate plane. It doesn't really matter where you put it because they're all in relation to each other. Call this 0, 0, and then label all the points a, b, and c where they meet here. x1, y1, x2, y2, and then go from there. Well, I guess you only need to label this point 
we'll call this red and this one in red. And you can use your distance formula. That's okay. Me, I'm not a fan. I'm not that much of a fan of the distance formula. I'd much rather think of it in terms of triangles. And I think it's a little bit more useful anyway. All right, there we go. So how do I find uh, the distance of C? That's what we're interested in here. Well, I know that the distance of A, A is a distance of one, one, two, three, four, five units, and I'm gonna square it. Blue or B is a uh, distance of one, two, three, four, five, six units, and I'm gonna square it. And then C is unknown. So now I have 25 plus 36 equals C squared. Well, that's the same thing as 61, and that's C squared. And then I just take the square root of it, and what do you know? I get the square root of 61, and there's my answer. So you can see why triangles are a very useful way of calculating diagonal distances on a coordinate plane. If you want, draw a coordinate plane and then go from there, but in, me, in my opinion, triangles are the thing of the future. What is the distance between the following points? Um, again, you could label these points. You call this one negative two, whatever, and the other one seven comma nine, and use the distance formula if you wanted to. Let me just write it down as a reminder what the distance formula is, but I'm going to do it a different way. This is the way I encourage my students to do it. It's much more visual. You have a better understanding and just instead of just plugging in nonsense or what you perceive to be nonsense into a formula. I'm not a big formula, just use the formula kind of teacher. I'm a try to understand it kind of teacher. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a triangle. There's my vertical distance and I ha it has a, a distance of two. I'm gonna do this as I go along. My uh, horizontal distance is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then I'm trying to find this distance here. I'm gonna call it C. So I know that my A squared plus B squared, let me, I guess I'll change colors. It's a little annoying, but uh, B squared and then that equals C squared. So I'm just gonna plug in my values. It doesn't really matter which one you call A or B, but this is two squared plus nine squared, and that equals C squared. Okay, uh, you get a little free hand workout by changing the, the, the color so much like I'm doing. So two squared is four, uh, nine squared is 81 equals C squared. That's the same thing as 85 C squared. And of course we take the square root of that when we're done to get C. So hopefully that's listed as one of our answers and it is. Check it. All right, next question. Maybe we'll do one more. Um, and I'm glad it's this one so we can, uh, it's my opinion when it's not visual, it's easier to do the distance formula for something like this when it's just written out explicitly. So we'll get go ahead and apply our distance formula one last time. And then I'll let you guys do the last three on your own. So I have the square root of x2 minus x1. Whoops x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's gonna be my distance. Okay, first thing you do is you're gonna to need to label. So I'm gonna call this x1, y1, and I'm gonna call this guy x2, y2. So let's plug it in, square root of, I'm gonna kinda of lower it a little bit. My x2 is negative eight and I'm gonna subtract a negative six, two parentheses squared, plus my y2 is six minus y1, which is four quantity squared. Now I'm gonna simplify, keep this guy there, make him a little bit bigger this time, learn my lesson. Negative eight minus negative six, the same thing as negative eight plus six, that gives me negative two. Again, the negative is not that important because we're gonna square it anyway, plus six minus four is two, squared. So we're going to have 4 and 4. 4 plus 4 as a square root of 8 equals the distance equals the distance. And we should plug that in for our last answer. There we go. Okay. Good luck with the rest of these problems. I hope this was helpful. I hope you see how Pythagorean theorem relates to the distance formula. And until next time, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest.